hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for coming back to another video thank you for watching another video if this is the first time that you're seeing this crazy person welcome i hope you stay there's a subscribe button right here and a bell thing right here or right here wherever it is it's a little bit difficult for me to navigate this with the screen flip the other way but you know what to do press the subscribe button press the bell button and we'll get into it we love to have new members of our family here over at Ananovia channel i am Anna Palomino if you didn't already know welcome today guys I just I'm just want to wrap it in I've been feeling like I want to just take some time to I want to ease up off the financial talk for a little bit I want to talk about other things because other things are important in life you know like what we're gonna talk about today the thing that we're gonna talk about today I'm obsessed with I talk about it all the time in the money society we're gonna talk about habits listen habits are so important Habits can be such a great tool if you understand how they are formed and how you can replace them. They are basically God's gift to you if you want to get into a whole other level of your life, if you want to supercharge your success, if you want to become a money magnet, your habits are so important. So today, that's what we're going to talk about. talk about five winning habits that you can implement in your life today so that you can supercharge your success right these are habits I use these are habits I've developed and I'm not gonna lie to you you know it's not always easy to, to develop habits in fact it's almost never easy to develop habits but the benefits outweigh the what do you call it the problems or the difficulty the challenges right let me tell you, there are a few things you need to know about habits if you're gonna, you know, come on this journey of, of, of manipulating habits for success. The first thing I'd recommend is that you read the book, The Power of Habit. Um, it's required reading in the Money Society. So that's something that you can go ahead and do. It will help you to understand the brain a little bit better and therefore understand habits. Let me tell you, habits cannot be destroyed permanently. They are merely replaced. Therefore, the bad habit that you think is gone, it is just suppressed in your brain, a trigger can easily result in this habit forming all over again, right? You can then understand that the flip side to that, the good news to that is that habits can be replaced. You can teach yourself to replace this particular habit. You can teach yourself to suppress a bad habit and to flip that bad habit into a good habit. That's how the brain works. So that's really good news for us if we want to super, supercharge our success. Habit is literally the brain's way of putting your body in automatic. You know when you're driving a car that's automatic, you know you have manual and you have um, automatic. Manual, you have to be there. <laughs> Especially when you're driving in, in um, traffic, it's the most annoying thing ever in life to me to be driving a standard transmission, a manual transmission car. You just have to be <laughs> every five seconds. It takes so much energy out of you. But um, automatic, takes little to no energy it just it just happens automatically that's how your brain operates your brain want to con your brain wants to conserve energy it wants to conserve time and all of this so what it does is that it remembers the things you do and it stores it it locks it in as a habit so it, it happens automatically just like when you're driving you don't think about how to reverse every five every time you need to reverse you just reverse right you're doing so many different things at once and it comes naturally to you it's because it's a habit your brain learns it and your brain can relearn something else if you choose to so why not make success automatic why not make success automatic why not make winning automatic i don't know about you but i love to win automatically you know with little to no energy that's where it's at for me right now so without further ado i'm gonna jump into the five winning habits that you can implement in your life the first habit that I would say is really good is the habit of planning. You need to get into the habit of planning. When you plan, you save so much time in execution. Just by having a plan, you're focused. You know where you wanna go. You know what you need to do next. You don't spend time idle trying to figure out where to go next and what to do. And a lot of the times you foresee problems before they even occur when you sit to plan, when you dedicate time to plan. So the habit of planning can come in really handy if you get in if you implement this in your life. 
for example, if you start doing to-do lists in the morning or you do um, financial plans or you plan whatever you need to do, once you just get in the habit of planning, remember, remember, it saves so much time in execution and you're a lot more focused. So if you want to supercharge your success, get in the habit of planning. The next habit I'm going to talk about because, well, you know, this is a financial education channel. So you have to get in the habit of investing if you want to not have to work until you're 65 listen to me you have to get in the habit of investing get in the habit of investing get in the habit of every single dollar you get you apportion it so that some of it is allocated towards investments sit down make a plan habit number one make a plan uh, as it relates to how you're going to spend this money, what you're going to invest in, what type of securities you want to lock your money in, what type of securities you want to grow your money with. Get in the habit of doing that. Just make it automatic, aka a habit, that when you get a dollar, you know that 50 cents of the dollar is going towards your investment plan. So get in the habit of investing if you don't want to work until you are 65. The next habit, guys, is something that is dear to me because as I said in the beginning of this video, I am obsessed with the brain. I think the habit of taking care of your brain is so important and it's so crucial. The reason is that everything you do in life, everything, almost everything is, is controlled by your brain. So if you don't take care of your brain, then logic is that you will not be able to supercharge your success you won't be able to accelerate your growth and your winning and any of that so take care of your brain what do i mean by take care of your brain drink your water take your brain supplements like fish oil and uh, ginkgo or whatever by the way i'm not a doctor but take your brain supplements drink your water read you have to read get in the habit of reading exercise your brain that is exercise for your brain guys and if you want to know anything it's always in a book somewhere or on the internet somewhere you just have to read so if you want to supercharge your success exercise your brain by taking your supplements and your water and whatever else but also by reading you can learn something to invent or reinvent your business just by reading you can learn something to put extra income in your pocket just by reading so go ahead and get in the habit of taking care of your brain and reading my next habit that i would definitely encourage you to get into is the habit of gratitude listen nothing in life is owed to you if you are if you receive something you never had to receive that, you never had to get that. So the fact that you do have it, the fact that you have it and somebody else probably doesn't have it, makes it so much more special. You have to give thanks for this. You have to be grateful for this. I believe that that's what the universe is fueled by. It's fueled by gratitude. Just be grateful for the things you have. You didn't have to have them. You're, you woke up this morning, be grateful. You have food on your table, be grateful. You have friends and family who love you, be grateful. These things are not owed to you. So many people on this planet don't have a lot of the things that you have. So if you get in the habit of gratitude, it can not only put your spirit at ease, but it can give you peace, give you peace. And it can also supercharge your success because if you want a financial talk, if you have peace, you can think. If you can think, you can, uh, you can work. If you can work, you can make money. So that's the connection. I would say get in the habit of gratitude. It does wonders for you. And while I'm on this topic, get in the habit of visualizing what you want for your life. If you can visualize the life that you want, I think it just makes it so much more real. The possibility of you getting it becomes so much more real. It puts a fire inside of you to go ahead and go after it. If you can see exactly what you want, there's a good chance that you will be so pumped that, hey, I'm gonna get this car, I'm gonna get this car. I need to work at it. You work at it and you get the car. That's what I do anyway and I feel like it, ha it plays a role in, in um, everything that I have achieved. So I would definitely encourage you to get in the habit of visualizing. The final habit I would encourage you to take up is the habit of celebrating. And this took me so long to really just get going in my life because I'm an overachiever. And for me, whenever I set a goal, when I achieve that goal, though it's, it's as if I move the goalpost. So I say I wanna achieve goal A. When I achieve goal A, I don't even stop to appreciate and acknowledge that I have achieved goal A. I just go on, all right, I don't think this is good enough. I need to probably do goal B. And that's where I move. 
but that's not a good habit to have so i replaced that habit with actually stopping and appreciating and celebrating my accomplishments so if i achieve goal a i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna say thank you god thank you lord for giving me the energy and the strength to actually achieve to, to achieve this goal thank you for this opportunity thank you because i know not many people have this opportunity so i'm super grateful thank you and i celebrate i probably will treat myself to netflix or i'll go out i'll have dinner with my loved ones i will have a drink with my loved ones whatever it is but i get in the habit i have gotten in the habit of celebrating and it makes life so much better it makes no sense you're working 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 every single day and you're not enjoying it because you only have one life to live you are only going to be on this earth for the duration of your life so you want to make sure you enjoy it it's not just all about work it's not all about money i say this all the time this is a financial education channel i want you to become wealthy of course i do that's why i come up here and i teach you all these things about finance but at the end of the day it's not all about money it's not all about money that's why you have wealthy people who are so sad they're depressed it's because it's not all about money money is important don't get me wrong i will never ever say i don't care about money <laughs> listen that is not the case at all but you have to have balance when you get money you need to have a plan for that money to enjoy yourself and to, to, to enjoy the company of your friends and your family so i would say if you want to supercharge your success if you want to accelerate your growth these habits i've discussed are, are just great habits all wrong for you to have um, they help you in one way or another whether it is in terms of finance directly related to finance or it is with your spiritual growth or your physical growth i think these habits are so important they're habits i do i would really encourage you to do them so guys thank you for tuning in to another video i just love you guys so much like the comments i see i know i haven't been as active in the comment section guys you know it's just a very difficult season for me in terms of work i have so much going on but i see the comments i see the comments you guys are so amazing i appreciate you guys so much so thank you thank you thank you thank you by the way i haven't advertised my book in a minute i'm just gonna say if you wanna you know learn more about personal finance if you want to learn more about finance on a whole you should probably get my book the big bad book of, of, of everything especially if you are one jamaican or two jamaican and you live overseas you need to get my book you need to get my book the big bad book of everything it has everything you should have learned in school but didn't things like taxes budgeting how to start a business in jamaica how to operate a business in jamaica where you need to go to get things done how to buy real estate how to buy, take out a car loan how to actually get you know what you need to look for in buying a car um, multiple streams of income budgeting so much about so much you need to invest in my book i'm telling you it's the bee's knees you know if i do say so myself so yeah so guys thank you again thank you thank you thank you and then one last final final thing yes we know we come like advertising central but the money society i have slots for the money society program if you want to become a part of the money society program if you want to um money society pretty much is me teaching a topic of personal finance every month it is one-on-one -on -one one-on-one -on -one personal financial coaching if you want this then i still have slots where the next cohort is starting in november which is next month let me know if you're interested in order to secure a slot you have to pay 50 percent of the program cost all right i think and you know if you want to buy my journal to help you with the habits of gratitude i have a journal that it helps you to develop that habit really well it breaks it down for you every single day um dm me or uh, send me an email at anoviyt at gmail.com if you want a journal. That is it. I promise. Bye guys. Finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Bye.